All right, man. Uh, just wanted to bring something to your attention real quick. When I was watching your T perm uh, recognition video, you were talking about how you look to see, you know, the cube like this. If you see this messed up, then you know that's part of the T perm. And if you see this like this, you know it's a T perm. But you got to think about this. What if this edge back here is messed up? See, this is a T-perm. I always look for two parallel pairs like this. See, I know if, I know it's a T-perm if this is a pair and I just check back and that's a pair. But, what if it's like this? That's all messed up. And, oh, that could be a T-perm. But, it's not. It's an R-perm. See what I'm saying? It's a pair here, and this is just this corner. That's messed up. So then you have. But if you were to do the T perm for the R perm, let's see what it would look like. Hold on, let me get into that. Okay. So we have this, and let's say we we assumed it was a T perm, and we just went ahead and did the T perm. We still have a U perm to do. We'd end up with a U perm. So. Just wanted to bring that to your attention, man. You might want to add a little annotation or whatever. Cool.